All right, guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and we're playing Video Olympics, which is the other Olympic game that I said we're going to cover for the Atari. And it's really not much of an Olympic game. This is literally just Pong here. Um, but there's different modes. Like, this is just a regular Pong here. Um, I guess because they wanted to have more variety than just the regular Pong games of the time. Uh, just a little history lesson. You know, Atari got their start... Well, with Pong. Pong is uh, where Atari came from. And uh, I suck at it, clearly, because... Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, the idea is that, you know, they made a huge success in the arcade. And then they began releasing home versions of it. And then, of course, a bunch of companies started mimicking that and whatever. And, uh, you know, eventually Atari ended up releasing their own home video game console that had interchangeable cartridges, hence the Atari 2600. And um, what's really interesting about it is, uh, I don't know why my paddle shrunk. Apparently I can change my paddle size. I don't know why that would be useful at all. Like, oh, I guess it's just a difficulty thing, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, the really interesting thing about it is, uh, that this is essentially the same game that they came out with, like, seven years before, or six years before, whatever it was, in the arcade, except just a bunch of new variations of it. Which we're going to check out here. This is just basic Pong. We'll play out to five with the CPU, because, uh, I mean, come on, it's Pong. Everybody has seen Pong in their lifetime. CPU wins. So let's go ahead and check out some other modes here. I guess you could go through the different modes for difficulty settings. Let's check out a double paddle mode. Why not? Let's do it. So... Oh, I guess it's only two players? Yeah, probably. Let's try it now. Yeah, it's still... Okay, it's only two players. We want to do ones that are obviously with CPU. Um, no CPU action here. Okay, can we do CPU here, maybe? Apparently not. I guess the only one that had AI was the very first mode. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Come on, we want some CPU modes, people. We're single players. So you got different modes. Like, that other one we were just doing is foosball. This one's supposed to be, like, hockey. So you're supposed to get inside the little hockey goal. Wait. Did I see movement just now? Oh, hold on. Like, I'm somehow controlling both sides. I, I don't understand why that's that way. That's really weird. I don't understand. Why was it like that? Okay, let's... Yeah. Okay, that's another hockey-ish motor. That one, I think, is supposed to be soccer or something like that. I don't know, maybe it's still hockey. Another variation of it. Uh, then we get this weird one here. Where, uh, you go this way instead? I don't know, man. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I got that one. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's check out this one here. I think this one's you just play with yourself. And it's kind of like handball one here, you know? It's, that's what it's supposed to represent, I think. Yeah, handball. Okay, next uh, mode, please. I don't know why, it just that one froze on me whenever I... Uh... Ugh. Good old... I caught it, though, man. Come on. Stop being a dumb game that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and now it's like blinking and a shit. Oh, come on. The freaking thing hit. Okay, let's move on to... This one's supposed to be volleyball, I think. Not sure how to control it. Okay, do it again.
Now this one's freaking tough, man. Like this one's the the most fun though. Like it seems like it has the most going for it. But I can't I don't get it. It's like really really poorly done. <laughs> Let's move on to something else. Uh, what's this last one supposed to be? I'm not sure what this last one's supposed to be here. Uh, okay. Oh, I think it's supposed to represent basketball. Like, you're supposed to get it inside the hoop, like, by bouncing it around and shit. But I, he, he got the point there. Got it. But I can only happen on this side, and he has to control the other side, I suppose. Yeah. 50 games altogether, if I'm not mistaken here. We've got um, four-player option, I think, here. Because you can use the paddle controllers for Atari. That's probably why the controls are all screwed up on this, because it uses the paddle controllers instead of the actual Atari joystick. But yeah, that's Video Olympics. It's uh, quite stupid. I would say, but you know what? If I was actually playing it on a real Atari and actually had the game manual and actually understood what the hell is going on, maybe I can get some fun out of it. But just this short look we've had here, not too interesting. Uh, definitely a lot more better Atari games out there. Not to mention the track and field is a lot better than this too. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Retro Olympic series so far. Let me know what your favorite Retro Olympic video games are. Uh, but till then... Down Phoenix out.